Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and girls. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're talking about the top 10 tools to avoid when you're shopping at Lowe's. Now, of course, I want to thank our today's sponsor here, which is, of course, Skillshare. Explore your creativity. Big fan of Skillshare. It's a great you know, platform for expanding your horizons, building new skills, learning new things. Uh, but we'll talk more about that later. But first, let's jump into it with number 10 on our list, which is the Porter Cable 2-Tool 20-Volt Max Brushless Power Tool Combo Kit for $179. Now, I know we have a lot of fans in the uh, the Den of Tools here who are fans of, of this system, but i got to tell you what, it, it, it just did not ever live up to its expe expectations here. It was supposed to be the middle of the road between the Black & Decker and the DeWalt, and it kind of always fell short. Uh, and then now that Craftsman is owned by Stanley Black & Decker, Porter Cable has really become the uh, the redheaded stepchild of the family. Uh, they've been pushed almost completely out of Lowe's. You actually have good luck finding one in stores. But if you do, I want you to pass on it. And because there's a better system, if you're looking for a prosumer grade system at Lowe's, the system you want to look at is Cobalt. They have, they're all brushless. There's no brushed systems or, or, or tools here in the Cobalt line. They're all 24 volt max brushless they're fantastic tools they're made by Shervon, of course we've talked about this before and uh, they're sold exclusively through lowe's great deals look at this we got this this incredibly power i have most of these tools here you say 50 bucks are on sale down to 150 dollars for a brushless combo with a real charger not that little piggyback charger porter cable ever often uses and the batteries are reasonably priced unlike almost anything in the stanley black and decker line the, the, the batteries for Cobalt are great, and uh, they go on sale several times throughout the year. You can really get some good deals on batteries. So skip the Porter Cable. Go with the Cobalt. Next, number nine you want to avoid is the Cobalt Table Saw. Now, this used to be one that we would talk about and say, when this goes on sale, this is a great DIYer level saw. But they've upgraded it. They redid it. This is a version 2.0, 3.0 kind of thing. And they've updated the price to match. And at $329, now you're talking about competing with a lot of the bigger name brand kind of tools. But you know what? Right now, there's a there's a real hot deal that happens. And this, this happens two or three times a year. And I want you to watch out for it. And that is the Metabo HPT, a.k.a. used to be Hitachi. And this is their uh, portable you know, uh, job site saw. It's not the compact job site saw that a lot of people talk about. But this is about the best hybrid you're going to get between a job site saw and an actual stationary saw. It's got a nice wide base, but you can also fold up. You can if you're if you need uh, space in your shop, you're working with a smaller shop. Maybe you don't use a table saw all the time. You don't want to dedicate that much room to it. There you go. Or you need something for port portability, but you don't need that ultra portability like you get with a compact job site saw. This is great outfeed table, the fence extension, and it's got, for those of you who are like DeWalt fans and like the ratcheting fence, it uses a very similar system to the point where it's six and one half dozen of the other. Almost said apples to oranges, which would not be true. Anyway, it's a, it comes with a stand. It's a fantastic system, normally 570 As I said, a couple times, two or three times a year, it drops to this price. This is a fantastic buy it now price. All right, next up you want to avoid, and that is... The, uh, the Rockwell 3.5 amp bench top spindle sander here. Now, these are not bad tools. And a lot of these tools that we're going to talk about, there's not bad. They're just better options out there. So with this tool, this used to be a great tool to get. But the, you know what? We've come a long way since then. Now, this one, I don't like to push people to spend some more money, but it's not more. This is 170 You're jumping up to 208 so it's all about 40 bucks more. And this is going to get you a spindle belt sander. All right, you got an angled table. You can do all sorts of neat tricks with this. This has become the go-to style. Uh, there's a lot of people who make this uh, sander. In fact, Harbor Freight now sells one as well. Grizzly sells one. Wind, Triton, and, and Rigid all sell a version of the sander. They're fantastic, but Wynn right now has the best average price on, on a given day. And if you're already at Lowe's, this is the sander you want to get. I, I have two of them. I like them so much. Craftsman planer. This is the next avoid one on the list. And that is, you know, this is another one of these things where it's not bad. It's not a bad planer, but at 329, it's not that much significantly better than the win. 
The wind planer is a great little planer. I've looked at a lot of these lunchbox style planers, and I, I think they're all made in one or two different factories, to be honest. They have all the same features. They do all the same kind of cuts that you would be hard pressed to notice a significant difference, an even noticeable difference between the kind of, of, of planing the boards, the snipe and everything else that you're going to get between these two tools. If you want to really step up from something like this, don't go to something like this. You're going to need to go all the way up to the DeWalt here. This thing, the, the DeWalt model DW735, is the best thing that you're going to get in, in your average shop planer. Uh, after this, you're getting into really serious 220 voltage kind of stuff. This is a fantastic beast. But as I said, this is this is this will do just fine for your average DIYer, weekend warrior kind of thing. You're not going to see significance by just stepping up this. So you're best to just avoid it. Now, next up on tools to avoid. I know I was talking about Metabo HPT before. Here's the Metabo HPT brushless uh, you know, multi-tool or oscillating multi-tool as we call them. This is not a bad tool. It's actually a decent, a decent tool. It, it, I think it gets a little bit of a buzzy, you know, compared to some of the ones out there, but it's decent. But you know what? You're already at Lowe's. You know what they have? They have DeWalt. They make one of the best cordless oscillating multi-tools in the business. The DeWalt XR. I know a lot of people hear the bear talk down on DeWalt. This is not one you're going to hear me talk down. This is a fantastic tool for $139. It, it's the same price as the Metabo. If you're not already in a battery system and you're trying to think about it, even if you only have to pick up a battery and a charger for this and you're not going to use DeWalt for anything else, it's worth it for this one if you need a cordless uh, multi-tool. Speaking of upgrading, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Online learning is quickly becoming a primary source of education and Skillshare is leading the way. Their community allows millions of creative people to join together in learning and even inspiring others. They offer classes on a wide variety of topics. You'll not only learn, but you'll also interact through class projects. One of my favorite features is that they're also adaptive to fit your schedule. That makes it perfect for busy tool bears like me. My family has always believed that learning is not a destination, it's a journey, and that you're never too old to learn new tricks. Now, Skillshare offers, as I said before, a wide variety of topics. Some of my favorite are photography, cooking, and productivity. A class I recently finished was the Productivity Masterclass, How to Do More While Working at Home. Yeah, we all know how 2020 is going. And as wonderful as it sounds to be able to work from home, it does come with some significant challenges. Those are how to stay focused and say be productive while being at home. And classes like this are helping me do just that. Members get access to thousands of ad-free classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions, all for less than $10 a month. And the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description below will get a free trial to Skillshare Premium. Next up, tools to avoid. More cobalt. I know everyone's going to say I'm down on cobalt. I like cobalt hand tools. I really, really do. I had this set. And here's what I'm going to tell you. You pay a whole heck of a lot of a premium on this set for getting those pads in there. Now you think, well, this will look great when I throw it into my toolbox. It'll be all organized and it'll be fantastic. I'm sorry, but no, because one of the issues with this toolbox is is they're, they, they a terrible waste of space. Look on this one. Look at those sockets. Look how far apart they are. All right. On all of this, when you, I, I said I had the set and I just was blown away by how much space I was giving up uh, compared to traditional drawer organization at $300. I want something a little bit better. I don't know about you. I mean, it's a nice, it's a 300 piece set. There's not a lot of filler. There is some filler. You can see it up here. We got some Allen uh, keys and some other things. Not saying it doesn't have any, but there's other options out there. One of those is in Cobalt. All right, I'm not down on the brand here. They have a lot of the same fillers as well. You've got the more of the Allen keys over here and whatnot. This is a 286 piece set. It's almost half the price. And it comes in this nice little box. And you're like, well, that's great, but I want to, to put it in my, my toolbox. Well, all those trays come out. The pins pull out on this thing right here. Pins pull out of that. That tray lifts out. These all come out. The lid comes off and they go right into your tool chest if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, you can use other organizers and stuff, but it's going to take up a lot less room than that big, you know, marginally bigger set. But actually, physically, with the uh, foam inserts, quite a bit bigger. I love foam inserts. It's just a poorly designed set, 
and you're paying a premium for that. I mean, look at 300 versus 160. Why would anybody be doing that? All right, next up, a tool you just want to avoid, and that is the Craftsman 11-piece 12-point metric ratcheting wrench set. I love ratcheting wrenches. I'm a huge convert to ratcheting wrenches. Uh, there's very few jobs I do where I'm not reaching for, if I'm reaching for a wrench, I'm not reaching for a ratcheting wrench. It makes life so much easier. But, you know, th these aren't like switchable. They, you have to flip them. There's nothing fancy about them. They're not the quality of the old school craftsmen. And you're paying a premium. You're getting 11 pieces. And they, they do have skips. You're like, well, at this price, there won't be skips. No, there's plenty of skips in this set for $74. That's ridiculous. If if you're okay with a few skips and stuff, you want to get this set right here. Okay, let me scroll down a bit here. This is $50, all right? And that now that is on sale. I will give you that. But it, it goes on sale, I think it's like every other week. And once a month, this thing is going on sale. And this is the Cobalt 20-piece, 12-point standard SAE and metric ratchet set. And with this one, I mean, 20 you get 10 in each. So you're getting, you know, one less per side if you were to buy the opposite. But that's $140 versus 50 bucks. And I have these. They're fine. They're perfectly fine for the weekend warrior, DIY, or even getting into that pro symbol level kind of stuff. These things are great. The one thing I will say that somebody pointed out when I bought them is they said, you know, these old color stripes will wear off. And you know what? They do. It doesn't take long. They will wear off. It's one of the things I really liked about them. And it ain't going to last. But that said, they're still good wrenches. So I highly recommend you take a look at those. All right. Next up, the ones you want to avoid. That is the Cobalt 9-drawer toolbox. I'm really sad to say this. I like a lot of the Cobalt cabinets out there. But in this case... It's not their fault so much as the fact that there's somebody else who's just doing it better. Now, I'm not trying to say that, you know, I, I try really hard to find you alternatives at the same store for the stuff you have to avoid. But in this case, you're going to have to get in the old truck and drive over to Big Orange and go to Home Depot because they've got the 46-inch 9-drawer. It looks the same. I mean, look, come on. What, how much of a difference could there be? Well, the difference is in the depth. This thing is 18 inches deep. This one is 24 you almost have a third more storage in this thing. Shut up, Moto. It's ridiculous. You get the same wood top. You get the same drawers. You get the integrated power strip with USB ports. That's all fantastic. This one is just bigger. And look at that. 398 versus 348 Now, granted, special buy on this one. It's, that's a sale price. But again, this is one of these ones that seems to just go on sale all the time. Uh, so... At 350, why would you, even if it was the same size, you'd want to get this one. It's bigger. Why would you not want that one? All right, getting down to the the wire here on the ones you want to avoid. We've got the Porter Cable 20 gallon single stage portable electric vertical air compressor. Oh my gosh! Anyway, this is one of these uh, these things that basically it's kind of one of those old tech. It's stuff that that you know a, a while ago was pretty good. They haven't updated it recently. Uh, it's putting out 150 PSI. It, it's not a terrible compressor, but you know what? It's old, and th there's newer models out, and it's basically gotten passed by. And by who? Well, we're going to talk Cobalt again. we got the Cobalt Quiet Tech. I can't talk about this compressor enough. 26-gallon, single-stage, quiet compressor. Just by looking at this, even if you hadn't seen it and heard it run and everything else, you could already tell this is a better laid out, better planned compressor, better built. And it is. It really is. This is I often recommend this for people who need larger compressors and they want something quiet. This is a great compressor to go with. Now, of course, these we're talking about oilless compressors here. And I often don't recommend, or at least, I, in fact, I used to never recommend oilless compressors, but the technology has caught up. It's gotten to the point where if you're using a compressor two, three times a week, uh, medium duty kind of stuff, weekend warrior, prosumer grade, this is not the kind of thing you run impact wrenches, you know, nine hours a day in the shop off of. That's not what this is. This is, you know, the DIY or the, pros the prosumer grade kind of stuff. And at 309 you think that's a good price. This goes on sale very often. This is not a sale price. Quite often, it goes on sale below 200 That's when you really want to grab this thing. All right. And for the last one in our list, this is, this is the one. And, and I'm sorry I even have to say this because it feels like I'm kicking a dead horse. And that is ShopVac 
uh, wet dry vacs. I mean, it's to the point shop vac has become the pseudonym. It's like crescent wrenches or Kleenex or Xerox. When I use that term all the time and I know it annoys a lot of people, I'm like, oh, I'm getting out the shop vac and I pull out some other brand or something like that. It, it has, it, they were so big, so well made that they became synonymous with the, uh, the wet dry vac, you know, you know area in general. Uh, problem is shop vac went out of business. <laughs> They're, they they shut their doors. They're closed. They're done. What was going on? Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get into it. There's a whole video I did. If you, you're interested, do a, a search on my channel for shop vac and you'll find the video for that. But anyway, you don't want to buy one of these. Not at $75. Why would you do that? Now, I'll tell you what. If you're spending that kind of money, get the DeWalt. I mean, it's a gallon less. You're not going to really notice the difference. These things are fantastic. They're one of the best, uh, you know, uh, shop vac style com- wet dry vacs that you can buy. I know everyone in brother in your brother will tell you uh, if you ask around, you go on any of the boards, people say rigid, rigid, rigid. Well, you know what? Rigid used to be it, much like shop vac. A lot of people have caught up and surpassed rigid. Uh, I, you know, I tested the Bauer one. That's better than a rigid. Uh, the Craftsman is about on par with the rigid. And the DeWalt beats all of them. And at $80, why would you not get the DeWalt? All righty. That's all the bear has for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring, you know, ring the bell down there so you don't miss out on any of the savings or the deals or the video reviews and stuff that we do here. We're, we got a lot of content coming to you. Uh, we got, we're got a huge backlog on tool reviews we got to get to. So there's going to be a whole lot more coming to you shortly. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.